Welcome back to the chicken enclosure. This is part four of the series Chicken Keeping for Beginners. Today we're going to be talking about feeders and drinkers for your chickens. So join me. Hi, my name's Fiona. We've covered a lot in this series so far. In part one, we looked at different types of coop and the amount of space that your chickens might need. In part two, we looked at coop care. We looked at the type of beddings for your chickens and we also looked at what to do with all of that poop that your chickens will produce. In part three, we looked at food for your chickens, the complete feed solutions and supplementary foods that you could give your chickens. In this part four of the series, we're going to look at how you give that food to your chickens. We're going to have a look at feeders and we're also going to have a look at drinkers. So let's get started. So let's talk about the different types of feeders out there on the market. The easiest way to give food to your chickens is just to throw it on the ground and they will find it. The problem with doing that is that when it gets to night time there will be some excess and that could potentially encourage rodents into your chicken enclosure. So I'm going to show you three options for reducing that mess. The simplest solution is this one and it's just a piece of guttering which has attached a block of wood to give it some weight so it stays in place. There's some drainage holes that are added to it so that water runs through if it does happen to rain. You put your food in there, chickens eat it from there, it doesn't end up all over the floor. You can remove it at night so there's nothing for any rodents who are nocturnal to access and it works really well. Let's have a look at a couple of other options. This is the most common style of feeder that you will actually see for most chicken keepers. And all it is, is a big green rain hat which stops the food getting wet. And underneath, there's a large aperture for you to add food in. And it feeds via gravity down to where the chickens can access it. And gannets called gannet for a reason. Gannets have a reputation for thinking of nothing but their stomachs. And this is what gannet's doing. So I'm going to stick the rain hat back on. Hopefully, I won't scare it to death. Good girl. This is the last style of feeder that I want to show you. This is a treadle feeder and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Your chickens stand on the treadle and the lid opens and they can then access the food. This has a great advantage in that because the food isn't readily on show and it needs an adult chicken to stand on the plate to make it work, that blackbirds, sparrows and any other small wild birds in the area just can't access it and get it the food. It also means that your risk of having rodents in the area will vastly reduce as well because the food isn't on show and they can't easily get to it. It has three settings, this particular feeder. It's either fully closed, fully open, or there's a training setting in between so that you can get your chickens used to the little bit of movement and little bit of noise before you close the lid completely. This one's made by a company called Grandpa's Feeders, which originated in Australia, but they do sell them in the UK and I believe they do sell them worldwide as well, so please do look them up. They're different from other treadle feeders because most are tall and slim and there's only a small aperture for your chicken to get the head in. Now what that means is only one chicken can eat at a time, whereas this is like a family affair and sometimes we've seen five chickens on this feeder at one time. It also means that you need to consider the size of the chickens you've got. We've got Buff Orpingtons and we've been breeding them for size, so our chickens are now enormous and there is no way that our chicken's head could actually get into the aperture of some of the treadle feeders out there on the market. But because this is low and squat, it's really easy. When your chickens eat, there's one of two things that could happen to the food. If it's easily digested, it could go straight into the stomach. If it's a little bit more difficult to digest and needs breaking down for them, so that will be wheat, mixed corn, pellets for example, it will go into their crop. And their crop is designed to process that food and break it down and it does that by a grinding action. So your chickens need to be able to access chick grit. If you don't provide this, they will dig more to access small stones in the soil. 
chick grit is actually very cheap and you can pop it into small pots and place it all around the chicken enclosure. If you've got a confined space where the pecking order could be a problem, you could administer it on this, which is a pecking pan. And this is from a company called Feather and Friends, um, who are UK based and they're a subsidiary of a larger organisation called Vincomatic. Now I like the pecking pan. We have a very, very large enclosure, but that doesn't mean that injury couldn't happen through pecking order disputes. And the idea is that it's got a grinding plate here. And as your chickens access the grit, or even wheat that you could put in there, there's a, a slight abrasive action which blunts their beak very slightly. So the chances of injury to other members of the flock is reduced. And I don't know if you heard that, we've got a little bit of a dispute going on in the background here. I highly recommend these, I really like them. Let's talk about drinkers for your chickens. So this is how they're going to access the water that you put into their enclosure. The easiest and cheapest solution is just to put a dish on the floor. Now the problem with that is that it's gonna get dirty, you're gonna constantly have to clean it, and it doesn't hold very much. If you want to put a large quantity of water into your enclosure, you're better off with one of these. And these are our preferred options for our adult chickens. There's a metal version and there's a plastic version. Metal is a lot more robust and will last an awful lot longer, but it is a lot more expensive. Plastic won't last half as long, but it is cheap. It will go brittle in the sun and it will crack eventually. And you will need to replace this multiple times in the lifespan of the metal one. If you live in a very warm climate, you need to consider whether metal is right for you as well because the problem with metal is that it will heat up in the sun so you may have to put this in the shade to stop your chickens drinking very hot water if you breed chickens like we do you need to get a smaller version of the waterers to prevent any little chick actually drowning now our chicks that we breed, which are Buff Orpingtons, can use these easily within two days after hatching. But as soon as they're hatched, we like to give them access to water using one of these very small drinkers. Now this is just one and a half litres and it actually goes inside the coop. And it's the same format as these bell drinkers and it's just a, a twist into the base. Very, very easy to use. An alternative is this version which just pushes onto the base. The final version that you can use for your chickens is a valve drinker and this is what they actually look like and the water reservoir lets water out in drips using this little valve and your chickens will actually drink their water from that. Now we don't like these as much. If you're going to use this for your adult chickens start these from day one with your chicks that hatch but we have so many of them that we need to use a much bigger solution for our chickens. I hope you found that really useful. If you have liked the content, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up below. If there's anything you'd like to see in the future, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to make it happen. Or if you have any questions, leave a comment too and we'll start a discussion, get things going. If you'd like to subscribe and hit the notifications button, you'll hear of any new videos we put out as soon as they're available. So I look forward to seeing you next time and thanks for watching.